Good morning my loves, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to Saturday, what an amazing week it's been. And we are now ready to start an amazing weekend. I woke up this morning and the sun was shining through and I felt incredible so I got out of bed and I got ready to go on a little walk with Charlie B this morning. And now we've got grey skies, which is just simply fabulous, isn't it? But I do think the weather today is... I think I do think we are going to brighten up. Let's just check this. Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay, so, according to this, the sun should be shining right now, but it isn't. But we'll allow it. We'll give it a little bit of time. A little bit of sun up until 8. Why am I... Ex why, what am I doing? Right, okay. Why am I trying to be a weather girl? I'm going to go and put a coffee in my little flask. Um, and then get Charlie B in the car and we will go on our usual Saturday walk which makes me so so happy it's like my favorite time of the week but yeah we'll have a little chin wag in a bit it's got a few things to update you from this week and yeah stay tuned I hope you enjoy Charlie come on Oi. oh you, you little shit come, come here Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> oh, do it tonight! Uh, sit down. Sit down. Sit. Are you okay there, babes? to do my lip liner, don't mind me, needs must. I don't even know if I'm allowed, am I allowed down here? How are you? Please tell me everything, what have you been up to honey? I've been to, obviously I've been for my work this morning and then I went straight to the gym. It's 10 to 11 now, so I'm just on my way to the Trafford Centre. The second time in like two weeks, I just really want some nice new perfume. I just had this like, oh my god the sun's coming out, yay! Yeah, so, oh, wow. Yeah, so I just had this, like, feeling this week. I was like, oh, JB deserves some new perfume. I've not bought any new perfume for a while, so I'm going to treat myself. I've got this jumper on, and I'm absolutely sweltering. Not quite sure why I'm wearing it, but I have only got a sports bra underneath. So I am not going to be walking around the Trafford Centre in my underwear. Do you know what I really want to try today? So, like, you know how everyone's drinking matcha? Right, so I don't even know what matcha is, but it's like green and it looks healthy and people really seem to like it. So I really want to try one. So I'm going to go and treat myself to one of them. Oh my God, we're having a treat day. What an absolute treat. Yeah, there's a couple of little bits and bobs that I, I need. But I don't need, I just want. Oh, I'm terrible. Oh, we've got some catching up to do, honeys. So basically, your girl over here, <laughs> it's about time she grew up and bought her own house. So I'm 26 years old and I still live with my mother, which there's nothing wrong with that. 
obviously a lot of people still live at home till an older age but I am ready I'm ready to fly the nest very like like trying to buy a house is a very stressful situation it's very difficult so I fall in love very easy right so I've been looking at houses and then I think oh that's a bit of me it's perfect let me go and view it book a viewing and then it gets cancelled because it gets sold and so at the minute trying to buy a house is very very difficult this is my current situation so at the end of last week's vlog i was like oh my god we got so much excited stuff coming up blah 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 so i had a house viewing and i was so excited like i was literally buying furniture i wasn't in my head i was like oh this couch would look stunning and it would i really want um an l-shaped couch let me tell you so my dream house has a bay window for my christmas tree it has <clears throat> Can I get done by the police for having this camera there? I'm terrified because I do not, I don't think I do very well in prison. Anyway, so, bay window, must. A living room big enough to fit an L-shaped couch. It's all I want, okay? I want a, a kitchen that's big enough for an island. These are the specific things that my house must have, right? And like the specific like fireplace that I want. Like I have this like, oh, Honestly, I have so many ideas. This place was like perfect. Four books, my appointment. This house in my head is mine at this point. I'm moving in. I'm packing my bags and moving into this house. And then the viewing was on Monday. Gets an email. Your viewing has been cancelled because it's now being sold. Ugh. But I didn't let it get me down. Oh, right. Butterfly brain. I'm going off on a tangent. So yeah, I wasn't upset. I was like, it is what it is. This is the reality of, of buying a house. So I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. I didn't cry. Yes, Jodie. Yes, you are a strong woman. There are no emotional breakdowns this week. I'm so proud of myself. You do not understand. And I've still been looking, but not seen anything. And I'm not going to rush into anything. I don't want to buy a house for the sake of it. It's the current situation, but I will keep you updated. Obviously, you're going to follow my journey of buying a house. Like, you are gonna be just so excited and i'm so excited and everything's fantastic so i also want to update you on the depot injection situation now do we recall the story of when i first had my injection so the first week i was an emotional wreck i was crying i've told you all this right so anyway the doctor obviously said we recommend antidepressants right and now the more I've thought about it, the more I think it is a very sensitive situation and I don't want to like offend anybody or upset anybody. But I do feel like nowadays they do throw antidepressants out left, right and centre. As I felt at the time on like the days where I was like literally crying my eyes out and I couldn't explain why, I did think that maybe this is the answer i was desperate i was desperate for, for anything these antidepressants i did go and pick them up from the pharmacy and then i didn't take them because i picked them up on the friday and then the saturday was when i spoke with you guys i did a vlog and, and that day i felt amazing and ever since I've, I've felt really really good there's been the odd like literally the odd day like obviously on last week's vlog on sunday i don't know i mean we all have the odd day where we're a little bit not ourselves do you know what i mean like we're only human at the end of the day what's going on with my hair excuse me i'm so sorry about that <sighs> it's warm in here oh it's warm i like it warm and i don't like it this warm i'm sweating cobs i bet you can't even hear me over that right sorry we're gonna have to maybe open a window crack a window open get it open that's loud sorry <laughs> yeah so i went and picked them up on the friday and then vlogged on the saturday I had an amazing day on the saturday but i spoke with my mom i said I really if I was you I really wouldn't just give it some time anyway I did and I've been incredible since so with regards to contraception obviously everybody's different so my situation isn't going to be the same as yours however a lot of people that I have spoke to have had a similar situation with the depot injection so it is something to consider so for the first week I was just a dramatic little bitch <laughs> so, so yeah so 
I'm fine now. I mean, if you are looking for a, a good form of contraception, then I do recommend the depo injection. If you are mentally strong, then yeah, go for it. You might have a week where you have a little teeny tiny breakdown every now and then. But other than that, I've been absolutely fine. Unlike the pill, obviously you, you can't forget to take it. Um, obviously it's in your system for three months. <laughs> what is that smell? <laughs> what is that smell? There is a very funny smell around here and it's not me. I've had the implant before. I've, I've literally tried everything. Honestly, honeys, you would not believe it. But again, that was at a time when I, I, when I was not me anyway. This was a couple of years ago. I tried it for about six months. Now you've got to give these things time to get into your system, etc. I had, I just had it taken out. It didn't, I didn't feel like it suited me at the time. The best thing for me was not being on anything. So if you can afford to not be on anything, if you know, oh my god, if you can use condoms, ah, I can't believe I just said that. Oh, you're not, you're not sexually active. Oh my god. Then I would give yourself a break. Give yourself a break from contraception because obviously you're putting hormones into your body that don't necessarily need to be there. This is TMI, but listen. If there's any males watching, then can you just skip forward? I'll just let them skip on. Just... Is it just us girls now? With the injection, I don't have periods. So if you're someone that struggles with period, again, not everyone's the same, so it might not work for everybody. Severe pain every month, because I know some people go through a, a, a lot of pain when, the, when they're on the period. I, I did struggle with periods, a lot of cramps, all all the symptoms, all, JB got all the symptoms, so um, it is something to consider if you want to uh, stop, maybe stop your periods or make them a little bit lighter, but obviously it's always something that you want to go and speak to your doctor about. Do not take this girl's advice. Well, I can advise. This is embarrassing. I don't think they sell it. <laughs> Where have I seen it then? I'm going to have to ask. Oh, I hate that. I might have to Google it. Let me Google it. Everyone's heard of the matcha tea, the calming immune boosting green powder that's said to work wonders for your body. Hiya, can I have a, a matcha please? A matcha? Yeah. Medium or large? Uh, just a medium one please. Medium matcha, do you want to add any? Is it nicer with vanilla? Yeah, it goes quite nice with vanilla. Oh, yeah, go on, stick some of that in. Yeah. Hiya. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, have a good day. Cause you need me, man, I don't need you. You need me, man, I don't need you. Let's try this bad boy. Let me just say something. I feel very stressed because because I had the dog in the car this morning. He's made an absolute mess. And if there's one thing I can't stand, right, I don't mind the outside of my car being a little bit dirty. I can cope with it because I just it's not the end of the world. However, this area is my sanctuary. And when it's dirt, honestly, if you could see it, you would judge me so bad because it's really, really bad. There's mud everywhere, like he climbed into the front. I unplugged his seatbelt. <laughs> he has a seatbelt, safety first, kids. And he literally climbed into the front and there's mud everywhere. And it's just not cool, bro. And it's really stressing me out. So one thing that I'm gonna have to add to my list of things to do today is to hoover the inside of this vehicle because it's not cute. I can't stand it anymore. Anyway, so it's warm. I expected it to be cold, right? So that's the first thing. I'm very confused. It's green, like, <laughs> Taste test. Come on, come on. This light is not cute. We need to uh, spin the vehicle around. Oh. <laughs> right, let's try it. I'm, I'm not convinced. I'm really not convinced. It smells like, <sighs> it smells like putting your head inside the bowl of a public toilet. I'm going to be completely honest. Do you know what it tastes like? It tastes like tea. It's really nice. Oh my god, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my matcha. I've got my little pinky out and everything. I can't believe it. 
the vanilla helps the vanilla is very very nice right so matcha tea has been proven to help with many things including relaxation meditation and providing essential vitamins and nutrients this gal is one healthy gal right so this is why i was confused so there's an iced matcha green tea latte so if i'd have said iced it would have been cold pure matcha green tea is mixed with milk for a premium cup of zen i've seen so many, many people like drink it and like nobody has explained to me like what's what is the taste so it tastes like it tastes like tea but it's like got like oh, i think with the vanilla it's got like a sweet a sweet taste to it but it's really really nice just got to the trafford center i'm just gonna nip into primark first there's nothing i need from here but i do want a little scoot round, you know maybe pick up something that i don't know i don't know the world's my oyster it's a bit sickly actually Yelisina, I've just been into Primark. I didn't actually get much. All I got was these little bodysuits. These tight, like, I've got two white ones and a black one because I only got one black one because I've got like so many black bodysuits. But well, they're just really, really handy to have and they're only six pound. And they just, you just chuck them on with like anything. Sometimes I even wear mine to the gym. Why am I shouting? Why am I shouting? I get, I get really giddy and then I start shouting. And I, I'm like that when I've had an alcoholic beverage. I just feel like my decibels go up by like 300 decibels. Anyway, it's going into the actual Trafford Centre now. It's very, very busy over here. We're still drinking our matcha. Matcha? Matcha, that sounds posh. Oh, Jodie, you need to sort your wig out, love. Um, it's very sickly. It's healthy, so we're still drinking it. And there are people knocking about, and I'm not shy anymore, because at the end of the day, these people are never gonna see me again. All they'll do is go, oh look, she's talking to a camera. She's filming herself. And I'm like, yes I am, because I'm trying to make a living out of this. So that's one thing. If I can stress one thing to you, to every single one of you, girl, boy, man, woman, animal, don't give a shit what anyone thinks. Why do we care? Because we're not having an effect on their life and they are not having an effect on our life. Do what makes you happy. And if sitting in your car, filming yourself, talking to yourself and singing to yourself makes you happy, then do it because life is too short to give a shit what people think. Why do we care so much? I'm not bothered. Like, my life is mine and oh my God, preach it sister. I need to stop talking. I think that match has gone right to my head. I'm absolutely sweltering right now. Hey, I've only come, I've come out of Stratford Centre with only one item, which is new for me, like, that has never happened before. There were queues in front of every single shop, thanking you very much, my friend. But I just went in and got the perfume I wanted. Now, my good friend Charlene, hey girl, my one of my number one fans. So we used to work together, she's since left, boo-hoo, but the other week, uh, she had this perfume on and I was like, oh girl, what is that? It's YSL Libra. Oh my god, it's absolutely unreal. And I was like, I need that in my life. So sorry for copying you, girl. But um, I just had to do it. It's absolutely stunning. I smell like a dream. Just on my way back now. Don't think there's anything else that I need. I need to consult the post-it note that I wrote out with everything that I wanted to do today. I didn't write it in my diary. Oh, I wanted a bag. I want, right, I need a, right, so I always wear a rucksack. It's like my thing, it's, it, it, I didn't mean it to be my thing, but now I class it as like my thing. But the rucksack that I used would not fit in my diary. So consequently, 
I don't carry a diary about, even though I should because I always forget things. So I could, should be constantly writing things down. Which I do, but I write things down on a post-it note, which is not, not very organized. But let's consult this post-it note and just check that we've done everything we needed to do today. Yep, girl, you've completed it. So I'm gonna drive home now. I'm gonna clean the inside of my car. Oh, I've got a parcel to collect, of course, as always. Then wash my hair and get ready for another date night with baby boy. So we're going bowling tonight. Although bowling is not my speciality. I don't have many specialities. I'm not very good at many things. But that's okay because I just have fun and I put 100% effort into everything that I do and that is what matters. So don't worry too much if you're not good at things, but as long as you try, that that is the key. Yeah. I feel so close to you right now. Are you girls in here? Woo -woo. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, y'all. Drinks, wa la la la. Drinks, wa la la la. Drinks, wa la la la. Freaky, freaky, yeah. Yo, you're the baddest. No need to practice. Where do I begin? I see this one. I'm about to go in. Where the girls at? Girls at? So go with them. We can all be friends. Why do you lock yourself up in these chains? No one can change your life except for you. Just open your heart and your mind. What kind of life? gonna have some lunch and I thought I'd show you what I'm having. Porridge oats which I've stirred in some Alpro soya yogurt and with strawberries. I would never normally put this many strawberries in right because there are a lot of sugar. There's a lot of sugar in strawberries however these strawberries needed eating so we're having them all. Stunning! Good morning, Milo. Happy. What day is it? Wednesday. So my face looks swollen, and I'm sure it's from this. What is that all about? Since when do I get spots that big? Like that's not acceptable. So we're just editing this week's, last week's vlog. This week's vlog. I don't know. Um, and I realised I didn't actually finish the vlog. So Saturday night, me and baby boy, we went bowling. Like I said, it was really, really good. We had so much fun. 
and then morning we got up we went for a walk up a river it was really really nice too you've seen that because i did put a couple of clips in yeah didn't really do much else but that was it so i've just come on here just to say goodbye thank you for watching if there is anything you want to see from me in the future then please leave a comment down below and let me know i hope that you and your families are all keeping safe and well and happy and until next time i'll see you in my next one bye